I'm now going to show you how to make the Jenny Gammy christening church. I have here two examples of both extremes depending on whether you want to do a lot of intricate cutting or as little intricate cutting as possible. For this one I've only used single sided printed card. On the CD you'll actually get the back and the front of everything so that you can cut the back and the front of each wall and the back and the front of the, the front door and you cut out both parts and glue them together and use it that way but for this one I've only cut out the front side of everything and as you can see it still looks impressive. For the back of the church I've actually just left this pretend stained glass window printed out and I've just left all the parts of the roof coloured in exactly the same as they're printed. However, for this one, I've cut every single part out separately and I've actually cut out all the details of the stained glass window at the back. So this shows you the two entirely different ways that you could do your church. For this, what you need is your two side walls of the church. Stand that one up straight. Um, I've added a little butterfly onto this one, but if you don't want this, just cut straight along there. You don't have to have that. You then have your front door of the church that has doors that open. Inside the church there are three layers. There's one with the congregation that have come to watch the christening and a little bunny sitting outside. There's one with a man and a woman both holding a baby and you can cut one of these off if you wish and just leave the one on that you prefer. And the last part inside is a minister and a font and there's a little squirrel outside the, the church looking in at the christening. For the back door of this one, what I've actually done, and I'm not sure how well you can see this on camera, mm, not great, <laughs> maybe a little bit, I've actually printed the back window onto acetate and then attached it. And that option's included on the CD as well. So you actually have the three options of printing the, the stained glass window out and attaching it, cutting out the stained glass window and attaching it, or printing it onto acetate and attaching it. The other parts that you will need is the roof and again as I mentioned before you can either cut all the detail out or you could leave it solid and then we have two strengthening bars, one for the top of the church and one for the bottom of the church. I'm going to start by taking one of the side panels of the church and I'm going to attach the three middle sections that go inside the church. Now you can do these in any order you want, I prefer to have the congregation nearer the door and the minister at the back of the church. You do this by taking the slot at the bottom here and the hook at the top here and putting them through one of these long sections here at the side of the church. So it just slots in there and tucks under at the top. You then take the next part that you want and do exactly the same with the next long section on the side of the church. Slot it in at the bottom and hook it under at the top and then the last section has got my squirrel on it which is why it's a little harder to go through and hook it under at the top. So there we have the three, three middle panels attached. I'm now going to attach the wall at the other side of the church in exactly the same way. This time I'm pushing my bunny rabbit through and at the bottom and hooking it under at the top and the middle section over at the bottom, under at the top, and the last section, over at the bottom, under at the top. And then I'm going to take the middle strengthening bar, which goes right through all these slots at the bottom of the church here. If we just push this through and slot it over. Pass the lady's skirt in the middle here. There we go. Right. Now we can add the back wall. So this is the one that I've attached my stained glass window to. This slot at the bottom here will go over the slot in the middle here. These two at the side will go under the two at this side. So I'm going to bend it slightly to get it over the slot in the middle 
and then I can simply lift the side wall to hook it under on that side and lift it to hook it over on this side. We then have two hooks at the top here and there's two tiny holes either side of the outside wall. You just bend the back of the church slightly to get it to hook in. There we have the back wall attached and that actually allows you to see inside the church as well. For the front that gets added in exactly the same way as the back wall. I'm bending it slightly to get it over the middle one and then folding it under either side at the bottom and then the tiny hooks at the top. Now we need to add the strengthening bar that goes along the roof and holds the roof in place. This has three slots at the top that go underneath the three slots in the centre and a slot at either side that go over the slots at the edges here. And the two T-bars are for attaching the roof. I'm going to actually put this inside the church so that I can attach the bars. They go underneath the middle parts of the church and over at the front and over at the back so that that's attached. For your roof, I find this better if you actually fold it and crease it first so that you've got a nice sharp crease and you've got two tiny holes at the top here which will go over these sections. What you need to do to do this is you need to actually fold these inwards like so so that they actually slot through the roof hole and then unfold them and that will hold it in place. I'm now actually finding it's easier to do this if I do it while this is actually flat. So I'm just going to fold these roof sections and now I'm going to slot this over them. I'm not sure how quickly or simply I can show you this on camera but that's just gone right over there and now I just need to unfold these T-bars. Either side. Get them nice and flat. And there we have a christening church with little doors that do open at the front and you can see right in at the back to see what's going on. And as per usual, everything will fold flat.